So you might have heard about something called Auto Reframe in Premiere Pro, and it sounds super handy, but there is some challenges with it. Auto Reframe is an effect that you can add to individual clips or to a sequence. To add it to a clip, go to Effects, search for Auto Reframe, and then drag and drop this effect onto your clip. To select multiple clips, just hold down Shift and click on the clips you want to select, and then add the effect. Now copy the clips to a sequence with another aspect ratio to see how well the effect works. The effect will process in the bottom right corner before you can see it. Notice that the motion adjustments are disabled when using Auto Reframe. If you want to adjust the position after applying the effect, click Edit Keyframes and move between the auto-generated keyframes to adjust them. To add Auto Reframe to a sequence, right-click on a sequence and go down to Auto Reframe. Choose the aspect ratio you prefer, and next to Motion Tracking, I experienced that slower motion works best, unless it's a sequence with a lot of action and quick movements. Choose Don't Nest Clips if you want to keep your transitions and click OK. A folder will be created with your auto reframed sequence and when playing it back you can see the result. It doesn't always work perfectly and it can be especially tricky with graphics. One thing you can do to solve this is to either nest the layers or text before auto reframing or if you have some graphic elements with multiple layers in it you can go into the essential graphics panel and pin the graphic to each other and adjust the anchor point depending on how you want your graphics to be positioned when reframing it. But that's another tutorial. Hope this video helped you, feel free to check out my Premiere Pro playlist for other quick tutorials just like this one and let me know in the comment section below if you have any questions. Have a great day!